dogs have evolved to be excellent pets. And for the orangs to be feeding and caring for Roscoe suggests they may have been treating him like one. But can that really be the case? If so, that is extraordinary. Now, we still think to this day, I think, that humans are the only animals <laughs> that keep pets. But, you know, these orangutans are very closely related to us. They're great apes as well. Do you think it's even possible they think of Roscoe as a pet? I think that it is like a boy and his dog. It says, I've got my pet dog. We'll go out, we'll play fetch. We have an incredible time together. I love my dog. Now I'm drifting off, I'm with my parents, I, it's time for dinner, I'm gonna go play baseball, and the dog becomes very secondary. I think it's more like that. They love him at the moment. I don't think they pine away for him or wonder where he is or miss him um, like you might see adult humans doing to a dog where they become really emotionally attached. Pet keeping can be defined as looking after an animal of another species with a level of care and affection, primarily for reasons of pleasure. And a very significant part of that care is, of course, feeding them. Whose is this? What's that? Do you want that? Yes. You want it. You want another one? Do you want to give it to Roscoe? No. Does he want it? Oh look, look at that. He wants it. You know he wants it. Yeah, you knew. See, he just had, he wanted to do it that way, though. Today, Hanneman hangs out with Roscoe whenever he can, and they seem to have a real level of affection for each other. They even go swimming together. Hanneman is only one of two apes in the whole world that can swim like this. Now, both Hanneman and Roscoe are obviously trained, so I wonder how much that affects what I'm seeing. To get a scientific perspective on their relationship, I've brought along Professor Hal Herzog, an animal behaviorist who's been investigating pet keeping in humans and other animals for many years. Amazing. See, eyes wide open, couple of bubbles out of the mouth, happily swimming in the pool. I've never seen that of you. Never. <laughs> Rangatang in a swimming pool. <laughs> Hal, what do you make of this relationship? You've, you've watched the orangutan and the dog. What do you well, make there's a couple of relationships going on. The relationship with the, with the orangutan and the dog is, is absolutely <laughs> stunning. And it's very clear that they have a deep relationship. The thing that impressed me the most was food sharing. Uh -huh. Was the orangutan being perfectly happy taking orangutan chow, <laughs> you know, not dog food. It was monkey chow. It, it was monkey chow for sure. And giving it to Roscoe. It was quite, quite stunning. 